Hi there and welcome back. Today I'm going to be painting up a Tyranid Termagant in the High Fleet Hydra colour scheme. It's a super simple process consisting mainly of speed paints that produces great results. So let's get into it. Firstly, you're going to want to base coat your model in the white of your choice. I went for Citadel White Scar Rattle Can. The next step is to apply Citadel Contrast Paint Black Templar to all of the armour parts on the model. And this includes all of the claws and hooves and the armour parts that are on the weapon as well. I'm just painting straight out of the bottle and one coat should do here. Next, we're going to highlight up all of the black and we're going to do that by dry brushing on Citadel layer, the fang. A dry brush palette is useful here, but not essential. Just make sure that you get most of the paint off of the brush and then apply it to the model, trying to catch as many of the edges as you can. And if you want, at this stage, you can go back in with your original white colour just to touch up any misplaced brush strokes from the previous dry brushing step. And when you're happy, we can move on to painting the skin, which we'll be doing with Vallejo Express Omega Blue. This is a really deep blue that when dries, leaves a really nice, almost ultramarine-like blue tint to the skin. Next, we're going to be dry brush highlighting the entire model with Citadel Layer, Fenrisi and Grey. We want to make sure this is a fairly light dry brush and we want to be hitting all of the top edges on all of the armour and all of the black bits and also all of the skin on the model as well. Applying this dry brush to both the armour and the skin will help tie in the colours and bring in more cohesion to the model. Next up, we're going to paint the head and the gun, and to do that, we're going to use Vallejo Express Deep Purple. We're not doing anything special here, it's just one coat straight up out the bottom.
And once that's fully dried, we're then going to apply highlights to all of the pink areas. And to do that, we're going to be using Vallejo Squid Pink. And we're going to be dry brushing this on as in the previous highlighting steps. We just want to make sure that we hit all of the pink areas on the head and on the gun. Making sure we hit all of the raised edges. I then went back in to touch up all of the white areas before applying AK Panel Liner Black to all of the teeth, the eyes and the gem on the gun. This just helps to add some shade and bring out the detail before painting. And the last thing to do before basing the model is to paint in the eyes and the gemstone on the gun with any yellow contrast paint. I used Vallejo Express Nuclear Yellow, but any yellow would do. And there's not too much more to it than that. It's simply a case of dry brushing and speed paints which is really easy to do and would look great painted across an entire army. I hope you found this video useful. My next few videos will be more in-depth videos on how I paint my High Fleet Typhon and High Fleet Hydra colour schemes, where I'll be showing you more of the painting process with less cuts through the video. So until then, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.